everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into another edition of WWE Action Figure Buy or Pass. We've done this before on the channel. I think it was a few months back, you know, every time we get, like, brand new WWE figure reveals, I typically do this. I didn't do it immediately after these brand new reveals that we got over WrestleMania weekend, but I figured today would be a great way to do so, and I'm really, really excited to dive into it with you guys. So today, we're going to talk about every WWE figure, or not every single one, but, you know, the main the big time WWE action figures that are going to be coming very soon and I'm going to tell you the reasons why you should buy or pass it and you know what I'm probably going to do most likely. I will put up the review for sure but you know I just wanted to get into that with you. So let's go ahead and start things off guys. Let's starting it out with Elite Series 86 Triple H. Now I'm referring to not only the Chase variant version but the regular version. Now I'm going to split this into two parts because the main version the regular version is a must cop. I think a lot of people that like flashbacks if you're not a flashback collector it's an obvious pass but I would say skip out on the chase. I think that the long tights Triple H around this era, the purple is much more iconic. I know a lot of people have complained about the color, but as far as like a regular release, this is better than the chase variant. I would say buy the regular version, pass on the chase variant. If you don't collect flashbacks, then both of them are obvious passes. Next up is Elite 86 Miz. For me, this is a pass, man. I mean, it's basically a re-release of the Elite 69 Miz in the red gear, except it is in white. Of course, I do like white gear. I'm going to be happy to pick this thing up. However, I think for the regular WWE figure fan, this is an obvious pass. It's also pretty much just like the Elite 37. And I don't know, man. I just, I, I'd say pass on this one. If I think to a, you know, a typical customer of a WWE figure, I would just say pass. Next up is Elite 86 Carmella. I would say buy this. It's going to definitely be the best Carmella we've ever seen. You know, all of her other figures have been actually kind of atrocious ex outside of the, you know, the Fan Central figure, which was released so long ago. And that figure's actually bun too. At the time it was great, but now it is officially bun. So we're going to move on and say bye for this Mela. And unless you don't collect the women's figures, I would say absolutely a must cop, especially if you love the women's figures. Next up is Elite 86 Rollins. Now for, for MDT, this is an obvious buy. I love the pink gear. I think it's a great head sculpt on this guy. The pink looks fantastic. Um, you know, any flashback collector may want it because of the Rey Mysterio inspired gear and stuff like that. So this is a must cop for me. I'm definitely buying it. It's, it's definitely a lot different than his other figures and it stands out apart from you know the standard black Rollins attire and stuff so I'd say Elite 86 Rollins is a buy. Elite 86 Sid guys I'm gonna say pass I just I don't know I'm not very enthralled with this figure the you know the ref shirt would be cool but it is like a singlet type it's like how do you even really use that or incorporate that unless you're a flashback collector you love Sid you know you want this in your collection man I'd say this is a pass it's just not that redeemable I have a feeling this may rot on shelves hopefully not but I have a feeling it might so I would say pass this guy. Next up is Elite 86 Fiend. This is a hard pass. This is one of those that's a hard pass. I don't think you should grab it unless you missed out on all the other Fiend figures, man. This is just this is just a miss, man. I just would not get this. Not enough difference. It's pretty much just a straight-up re-release. Definitely pass on this guy unless you literally missed out on every single other Fiend figure. I would avoid this one. Next up is the Ringside Exclusive Cactus Jack. And for this one, I don't know. I mean, I think it's okay. It's all right. I mean, it is a Ringside Exclusive. You probably want to buy up the Ringside Exclusives, whether you want to sell it later or you're a Cactus Jack fan. Whatever the case is, it is also a first time on the line for the title I would say uh, I don't know I think you can go either or here this is a really tough one for me now if it was like you know do you want this figure in your collection just straight up I'd say pass so that there, that's where I stand with that one next up is MVP the elite MVP that we're going to be getting very soon I would say buy this one you know the updated MVP looks really good I think you could use this head sculpt put it on a suited body make an updated MVP for your hurt business this is a must cop for me next up is the two pack rock and sock connection this one, uh, I would say buy. I think I'm going to say buy. I would say pass if you're not into flashbacks. You know, you don't really care for it, things like that. But the jackets alone and the accessories that are going to come with these guys, I would say buy. I think it's going to be a really cool two-pack and something you don't want to miss out on putting it into your figure collections. Next up is Survivor Series Bret Hart. I think this is another buy. I think this is a really good figure. We've been waiting on this attire. We've been waiting on a solid Bret Hart, you know, with the hair not in the face. This is a buy, whether you want to do head swaps, you know, you just like the gear straight up. This Bret Hart is a must cop. Speaking of Survivor Series, guys, we're talking about Hulk Hogan here. And Hulk Hogan, I think, is a buy as well, man. You know, because 
you know, we we went so long without Hulk Hogan figures, man. I would say this is the time to go ahead and buy those things. And you never know when the man could just be out of the company in the blink of an eye. So I'd go ahead and just buy them just so you have them there. And I think that, you know, again, while I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan guy in the world, I still think his figures are pretty rad to collect. So there is Hulk Hogan. Next up is Candice LeRae. I would say buy, just because the women's figures have been so John Brown good, man. They've been so good, and I would say that, like, all women's figures at this point are kind of buy, just to see what we're getting, because they're improving every single time, and it's really fun to see how well they improve and how much better they are compared to the older women's figures. So, I would say buy for Candice LeRae. Next up is Elite 87 Apollo. I would say buy the chase and pass the regular version, but overall, definitely update your Apollo. I think it's a lot better than his first figure, you know, the, the longer beard and everything like that. I know that, you know, he, he's already outdated as far as attire is concerned, but this is, I still think this is a really good figure. His first figure was really awesome, so I think this will be no different. Next up, guys, is Legend Scott Hall. I would say pass this, man. I'm not really feeling this head sculpt for whatever reason. I think that the Elite 51, was it? Was the Elite 51 or, or something like that? I think that figure was a little bit better, and I think that he has better figures. I would say pass on this, unless you missed out on that Scott Hall. I don't know what it goes for nowadays. I would say pass, but it may be one of those that's a must-cop, you know, NWO flies off shelves. Next up is the Macho Man Legends figure. I would say buy. This is a buy for me. I like this one a lot. You know, it's a really great macho. I think if you've never bought a macho, this is the one to buy. Pass on every other macho. Buy this one. I think this is an iconic macho. Looks really damn good, man. This is a really good Randy Savage. Next up is Escobar. For Escobar, I just, ah, uh, this one was kind of like give or take for me. Because he's first time in the line and we get the new championship, I would say bye because of those reasons. But if he didn't come with the new updated championship, I might pass this. I think he's pretty good. I just, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of him. I don't know what I would do with him in my collection, so I don't know. But I do want that title belt in my collection, so I'm going to say bye, but I'd understand the past. You know, you don't watch the current product. You don't care about that. Uh, I could see easily passable on this one. Speaking of which, guys, the next one is Asuka. Now, I know I just said the thing about getting women's figures, but unless this has double-jointed arms, I would say pass just because I like her Network Spotlight figure. I like her other NXT, you know, figures that we've gotten. All the Asuka elites have been great, so... I don't know, I kind of just, you know, I kind of just contradicted myself a little bit. But you know what, Brad? You know what, just buy them. Buy it. I don't care. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. The attire's not my favorite ever. You know what? Uh, screw it. Just buy it. Just buy it. Next up is Elite 88 Roman Reigns. This is a buy. Now, I know that, you know, all the Roman Reigns are pretty much similar and stuff like that. I would say buy this one. Skip over the top talents that we're going to be getting soon. I'd say skip over the Elite 84. Uh, you know, just wait for the Elite 88 if you don't have a Roman so far. But Roman Reigns is such a big integral part of WWE television that it's kind of hard not to get the guy. So, I don't know, man. This is an instant buy for me. Uh, Gold Gauntlet updates. It may change. It could have, inter you know, double-jointed arms. This is going to be an Ultimate Roman that's going to be excellent. And apparently, I think we're going to be getting an Ultimate Roman not too far in the future. So, that could be epic. Next up, guys, is Bam Bam Bigelow. This is an instant cop. I think, you know, again, you could pass on it if you don't like flashback figures. But it's his best figure by far. The head sculpt is insane bro this is insane uh so many redeeming qualities including the championship bam bam is a must buy next up guys is going to be big john stud now for big john stud i'd say pass unless you missed out on the four pack the hall of fame four pack if you missed out on that you never had a chance to get the big john stud and you really wanted it this is the time to get it but at the drop of a hat if you have that four, hall of fame four pack i don't know if this is enough to constitute getting this figure you may want to sit on it and finishing us up guys we have the last four figures that we're going to talk about here today and it's going to be the four ultimate editions right the ultimate jeff hardy the ultimate hulk hogan the ultimate john cena and the ultimate rock figures i would say instant cop all of them because the ultimate edition line is unlike anything i've ever seen man they they're so like like if they sell out and like they don't restock them enough man they will literally go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars it's the most insane thing i've ever seen it's absolutely absurd what i've seen in the community about these ultimate editions so i'd buy all of them even even if they didn't skyrocket in price, there are absolute must cops. Jeff Hardy, I mean, automatic buy. John Cena, automatic buy. Hulk Hogan, automatic buy. And then The Rock would be the one. If you wanted to sacrifice one of these and not get one of them, I would absolutely say The Rock. I would scratch him off first. I'd scratch off Hulk Hogan next. 
And then uh, Jeff Hardy and Cena, I don't know if I could desi decide that. So I, I don't know what to tell you. But I think all four are Instacops. But I think that's all the figures that I wanted to cover here today on Buyer Pass WWE Figures 2021 that we're going to be getting, man. So we'll get any more figures on here. If you guys would like to see me do this in the future with other figures and stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty much the ranking series, just they haven't released yet. You know, I am planning on doing my AEW figure ranking from series one through five. There's a ton of figures in that video. Probably going to be a very long ranking video, and that may drop tomorrow, guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Should be a fun one, but that does it for Buyer Pass for these WWE action figures, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. For our random shout-out today, let's find out who the hell it's going to go to. And this shout-out's going to go to Cdubs0704, who says, I used code MDTOYS when I bought a Walter a couple days ago. And a huge shout-out to that guy for, you know, buying the Walter figure with the code MDTOYS, man. That's absolutely epic. You love to see that. You always want to use code MDTOYS when ordering from ringside. I think we got uh, RSC TNT Champion Cody coming in very soon. We got some epic stuff in the works. I think the Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy should be hitting soon and AEW Series. 5 should be hitting soon so lots of great things hitting and hitting and hitting and we love to freaking see it man but thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel and you guys already know the deal brad don't cross it you cross the